Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Dark Road Story Mode. Boy, the pace is really starting to pick up in every possible way. The story events are moving faster. The game's moving way faster now that there's not five to 10 identical quests to do in between every story scene. Honestly, I'm kind of enjoying it better this way <laughs> than the pace at which they released these early chapters. It, I think we've definitely hit the point now. I think the last chapter, chapter four, was the point where the team or the studio, Square Enix in general, basically, made some pretty big decisions in terms of like what the future of this game was going to be. Whatever longer term plans they had for this one apparently got cut way shorter, budget and schedule got cut way down, and they were just trying to wrap up the story as best and quick as they could. Which in a way, like, that's always sad when that happens to a game, but if we're honest, it's not really the best. <laughs> it's not really the best Kingdom Hearts game they've ever made. And the padded out version of the story wasn't really adding a whole lot, like the more extended Disney World antics weren't really giving us much more other than more time with any one of the characters. Honestly, like, I hadn't even noticed it until now, but I can no longer really change my party. Now it's just me and Xehanort. I had wondered if Chapter 4's events could have played out, like, would have played out differently depending on which one of the companions I'd brought with me, but I don't think they gave me a choice. I actually think that Vor was set to be the one who was in your party there and then set to leave, which is interesting. I guess that's just how it's going to go now. So let's, uh, let's see how much further we can get. Fifty-four years later. There's a reason the precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the Keyblade? Would you blanket all the worlds in darkness? Reduce them to nothing? But darkness did cover the world once. In legend, we know so little about the Keyblade War, only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. I... <laughs> Sorry, not to pause us here, but I... We've had three different voice actors for this character. All of them great, but all of them distinct. And I don't know... Like... The, this scene originally was not voiced by the actor who is now the current voice or the most recent voice anyway of Xehanort but switching to Leonard Nimoy voice just for this scene would feel weird right <laughs> not that I'm again not that I'm imitating any of them very closely it's I, see, I think that's what's making me like trip up <laughs> over some of these reads occasionally though anyway sorry we know so little about the Keyblade War only that it was just the beginning Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. It is a curious tale, and one worth exploring. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light that legend speaks of? I must have these answers. The Keyblade needs to be forged, and with it, the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Fool, you would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity. I will never allow it, Xehanort, not while I live. But once again, you have it wrong, Arrakis. Darkness is a beginning, you see, not an end. At birth, Every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light, do we not? Poetic excuses. If words won't dissuade you, only one thing will. Bah! That power. Has the darkness taken you, Xehanort? Not your concern.
I knew it. Xehanort, he could never let it go. Your mind is made up. Seven years later. Boy, we are jumping around. Kingdom Hearts is the only way. What about our duty as Keyblade wielders? Our duty is to protect the world. This is the path we must take. To think we became Keyblade Masters only a year ago, and now this. We were both given the title, but you alone are the true heir. You were bequeathed a Keyblade from the era of the Lost Masters. You were supposed to have inherited their weapon and their resolve. Since coming here nine years ago, I've contemplated what it means to protect the world. This decision did not come easily. But summoning Kingdom Hearts is a drastic measure. How can you be so sure that's the answer? And how can you be so sure it's not? Life has taught us far different lessons. Do you stand in my way as a true Keyblade Master? No, as a true friend. Episode 5, The Key to Each World's Order. Master Odin wasn't there. How did things end up like this? And now we can't even ask the Master whether or not we should continue our task. I vote to keep going. Me too. I think that's what he would want us to do. And leave Vor behind? No one's saying that. I still don't understand exactly what happened, but I'm sure we'll run into Vor and Vidar again somewhere. I'm not. When she left, it felt like she was saying goodbye forever. If only I'd tried harder to stop her. So what should we do? I want to find her and bring her back. How? There's a mirror in Dwarf Woodlands that can answer any question. It can tell us where she is. I'm in. I'm worried about her too. What about you? I want to focus on the task at hand. Wait, really? Vidar said he'd return once he was done with whatever he needed to do. If so, he and Vor should show up sooner or later. Maybe they will, or maybe he's just using her to complete this goal of his. Even if he is, she'll be fine. She's tough. She doesn't need our help. I know, but... I thought you actually cared about your friends. Don't I? What about you? Could a friend try to manipulate someone's belief just because they don't line up with their own? I think a good friend would help them see the error of their ways. Who's to decide what's right and what's wrong? Unless you know of someone who has a heart of pure light with no trace of shadow. That's what a Keyblade Master is, and that's the kind of person I want to become. Again with the Keyblade Master. It's just a title. You have to work hard and prove yourself to give it any meaning. That's enough. Bragi, you're coming with me, aren't you? Of course. She's our friend, right? Sorry for being difficult, but we have to do what we believe is right.
And they're gone. You know Ericus. Once he gets an idea in his head. Are you sure about this, Xehanort? Even if we take different paths to locate the missing upperclassmen, we're bound to arrive at the same destination. Ericus should follow his heart on this one. You two really do have a special sort of friendship. I wish I had that. Well, now that that's settled, we should be on our way. Xehanort, do you think we could use that mirror he was talking about? I doubt it. We left something of an impression on the Queen, so getting close to it would be tricky. And even if we did, it might trap us again. Who knows if we'd be able to fight our way out a second time. All right. A different world it is. Let's jump in the gate and head somewhere new. Uh, the scenes are getting longer as well. Honestly, this is a welcome change. You've returned. Yes. I've come to say goodbye. Be vigilant. Darkness like no other may soon be upon us. W well yes Dark entities like the Heartless already reside in the other worlds. What I speak of is true darkness. True darkness? I don't recall learning about that. What is it? How is it different? Thirteen ancient darknesses came into existence long ago. These most primitive of shadows are said to be true darkness. They exist without form and are the source of most darkness in this world. Darkness without form. The seven most powerful ones were imprisoned within the Keyblade Masters of Yore, who had offered themselves as vessels and came to be called the Lost Masters. Of the six shadows that remained, four were trapped by Keyblade wielders in the realm between of another world. Two are said to have been destroyed when the world collapsed. But of that, there is no proof. You believe true darkness has returned? I do. And so I implore you to remember that the unknown you fear must not simply be regarded as darkness. You must learn to distinguish between the many different shadows. True darkness is no exception. Though unseen for a great many years, we must proceed with caution. You can feel him having to drop the exposition quicker and quicker now. <laughs> I feel for them having to move this fast. But I'm not entirely against it. It's something, all right. Not to sound like Ericus, but I think I finally know what darkness feels like. If he were here, he'd turn right around and go home. Definitely. Achoo! Dude, sorry. This is a waste of time. Come on, we need to think of something else. All right, let's go. Help! Mama! Lumiere! There. Quick! Fight the bat! Oh, interesting. I thought it was going to have all three of us. It seems our party is just sort of auto-assembled now. 
which again, might as well. There wasn't a whole lot of strategic value in choosing different party members or different like third wheels before. <laughs> Some of them were better than others, ultimately, but <laughs> I think Bragi is usually w the one that they recommend a lot of the time. But really, it wasn't that interesting a choice. <laughs> Might as well make it more, like, story important. Go with whoever's the most story-relevant character at the time. We're kind of managing, honestly. I might not have to do tons more grinding here. We'll see. Whoa! Thanks for saving me. My name's Chip. Are you going to be guests at the castle? Actually, no. We're looking for... Hey, you're... I know. Follow me. This way. We're kind of just doing the Disney World speed run at this point. <laughs> That's it. We can't just stay here and do nothing. Oh, hush now. I know it's frustrating, but what can we do? If the master refuses to help himself and stays hidden away... Can you blame him? The rose was stolen from right under his nose. He's devastated. Mama, I brought people. One's a girl. Chip, what are you doing here? It's past your bedtime. I know, but I woke up and went to find you. And then the monsters found me. But my new friends saved me. New friends? Who are you? More intruders? No, we're... She's a girl! Boy, they are desperate in here, huh? Well, well yes, but how is that important? Lumia, have you forgotten what happened last time? Of course not. But this is the only way to break the spell. But without the rose. Is something wrong? My name is Urd. And that's Hermont and Xehanort. Maybe we can help. Well, at least you are polite. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. And I am Lumiere. Mrs. Potts. And you can call me Wardrobe. <laughs> they never really gave this character a name, did they? <laughs> if you must know, a short while ago, two visitors arrived at the castle. Highly suspicious, for we rarely receive guests. But Lumiere welcomed them and took them to see the master. Unfortunately, they weren't the weary travelers they claimed to be. Those scoundrels stole an enchanted rose. Since then, the master's been beside himself, and I'm afraid we've been at a loss. I see. What if we help you get the rose back? You could do that. What a wonderful idea. And once you've returned, we may stay, you may stay as long as you like. That's not necessary, but we will help you. You're going to help them just like that? I have a feeling that whoever took the rose might have something to do with our task. You think it was the upperclassmen? We'll need to track them down to know for sure. First things first, I'd like to talk to this master of yours. Where can we find him? While we are grateful for your help, the master is... How shall I put it? Not overly sociable. And after the incident with the Rose, he's been quite irritable and difficult. It's okay. I deal with difficult people all the time. Don't say I didn't warn you. His chambers are in the West Wing, and whatever you do, don't tell him we sent you. All right. 
Hey, maybe he'll warm up to me if I handle his castle's bat problem. Still managing. Encouraging to see. Who are you? What are you doing here? You must be the owner of this castle. My name's Hermond. Xehanort. I'm Erd. We heard about your rose, and... That's none of your business. Get out! But you have a bat problem. Your weapons. Now, where were we? Whoa! Those keys. I've seen their like before. Was it your friends who stole my rose? No, we're here to help you get it back. We were hoping you could tell us what happened. You're lying! You're just like them! He's not gonna listen. We can't turn our weapons on a resident of this world. Let's go. Good. He's not following us. I guess you were right. Not that I'm happy about it. But at least now we know that two upperclassmen stole the rose. Why would they do that? Do you think it could be part of the exam? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just glad we have a lead. It's not much. We know who did it, but we don't know why or where they are. Are you sure you're not upset about Ericus? I'm sensing some hostility. Just stating the facts. Let's tell the others what we've learned. Maybe this piece of information will lead us to something more. But first, let me bonk this thing with my key. Oop. Hello. One is bad enough, but two... Honestly, they're not as scary as the castle's master. And we outnumber them. That's true. Let's do this. Hey, where are you going? I'm going after it. You two stay here and take care of this one. Got you! What? I guess I spoke too soon. I won't give up. I can't. May my heart be my guiding key. I know it's two against one, but this is rough. Greater numbers don't guarantee victory. You're the one who said we outnumbered them like it mattered. I'm worried about Urd. Let's finish this and go after her. Agreed. Win the fight and let's go. Oh boy. It has leveled up a little bit. A lot of the enemies were like in the mid 40s. It's fine. Just gotta wait until the auto combat happens to choose an ability that is perfect against this monster. Hey, and we stunned it while we were recharging. That's real dang handy. 
there is absolutely no way I would play better than this if I was doing it manually. No way in heck. Beat it! Yeah! We will not be denied progress! Hermod, go and check on the castle's servants. No, I'm coming with you. Don't worry, she only needs one of us to outnumber it. Not that again. Make sure she's okay. I will. All right, that's enough. Who's there? Oh, another new face, boy. Hold that thought. Whoa. You're Vala, one of the upperclassmen we're looking for. You stand strong even in the face of tremendous threat. Your light shines even brighter within the darkness of chaos. Which means my vision has yet to fail me. I've been waiting for you. What? I thought we were looking for you. Also, if you were waiting for me, why were you hiding? Because I needed to be certain I was right. Right? About what? I've been watching you. To determine whether or not you are capable of helping us achieve our goal. Your goal? Vidar said something about that too. What is it you're trying to accomplish? You ask a lot of questions. Such a beautiful grand piano. This must be a ballroom. Not a place for conversation. But dancing and celebration. That's not an answer. Perhaps my lenses and judgment were clouded. I expected more obedience. My task is to bring you back home. Not to do whatever you say or go wherever it is you want me to go. That's a shame. Well, until we meet again, which we will, sooner than you think. Keep that light shining bright. Oh, and if you could return this. So it was you. This is no ordinary rose. It's essential to this world's order. Keep it safe. Essential to the Order. You know, considering how much this team is clearly being rushed at this point, and it's probably not a very <laughs> large team anymore, it's probably down to just an absolute skeleton crew, bare minimum, to get this thing wrapped up and out the door. Like, it feels rushed, sure, but they're managing. Which, I mean, that's still commendable, I feel like. Please, would you reconsider our invitation to stay? Thanks, but I have a home and important responsibilities. Help him keep his spirits up, okay? His wish will come true. I know it. 
Of course. One year later. One year after the upperclassmen went missing. It was decided we would be tested for the mark of mastery. Before the exam, wielders must journey to the outside worlds to broaden their horizons. For the upperclassmen, this was the trip that led to the series of unfortunate events. Ordinarily, this is the first opportunity for a Keyblade wielder to see other worlds. However, we had already gotten a glimpse of what was out there. Even so, being abroad again evokes different emotions than before. Perhaps that past experience affected my heart more than I realized. Or, perhaps these feelings were born when I left the island, and first walked through these gates. And only now they are coming to the surface. The turbulent emotions which flood this corridor are more than anyone could bear. To even try would allow darkness to devour you. My armor provides protection, yet every time I pass through, the darkness seeps further into my heart. I can feel it, faint though it may be. But if my heart is strong enough, maybe it could weather this maelstrom. For if I am the child of destiny... This was not a good idea. So, you're the singularity. And thus ends another chapter. Not really actually sure who, like which black cloaked figure that was. Just kind of took a guess with the voice. I mean, it's probably the Master of Masters. We know he runs into young Xehanort and has a conversation. Seems like that would be a pretty good time. Anyway, the chapter's over. Let's go ahead and uh, call it, and I will return next time with the next chapter. We are kind of getting toward the last few. Take care, everyone, until the next episode, and I'll see you then. Bye!